Yeah, it really, that just started happening. This is our luck right now. <laughs> Literally got everything. <laughs> For y'all that aren't parents, let me just explain. It takes twice as long to get ready. Get out the door. You got baby, you got diapers, you got changes and things. And then... It starts pouring. And then we finally get in the car, it starts pouring. So, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Great. What do we do now? Maybe by the time we get there to stop? Uh, I don't have a rain jacket. I've got an umbrella, but and I'm She doesn't up. have a rain jacket. You can't just leave babies in the car. I'm pretty sure that's against the rules. Well, I got an umbrella. We can try to go over the pumpkin patch and maybe it'll be open. I don't know. It's going to be a swamp. This is the exciting time when girls get to wear their rain boots. Yay! They're like, wow, we spent all this money on rubber boots and we never Finally wear them get really. To wear them. Actually, I wore these last year when we went, I think we, I don't know, we went hunting or something and I wore them. Yeah. You wore sorority boots out in the deer blind. Well, I'm sorry I didn't have warmer boots. These things are actually really warm. Ah. Okay, we got this awesome pumpkin patch. Huge little local pumpkin patch deal. They got tons of pumpkins. They do tree farms and everything like that. But it's looking like it's a, uh, a swamp right now. So I think we're going to have to boot it. and. Um, you know, go to that grocery store action. Woohoo! This is, this is gonna be all cute. We're gonna put a little Emmy next to a pumpkin. Oh, now, now ruined by the rain. It has rained on our parade. Dang, that's life. You just gotta, you gotta turn pumpkins into pumpkin juice. You know what I mean? So, let's take a time out for just a minute and let's talk about bulldogs and babies. Cause uh, one of our latest videos got a little shade thrown on the bulldogs. And I just gotta say, I've grown up with bulldogs my whole life. I've had them when I was a kid. Uh, I know they seem pretty intimidating, um, but most bulldogs, if they're around kids from a really young age, they get really attached and they're very protective and they're amazing companions, even though they snore and they fart and they look mean and they may sound mean and everything. But Miss B, She's just a big sweetheart. She's a big sweetheart. There's no question about it. She looks intimidating at times. But we would never put Emmy in front of a vicious dog that we did not know. Yes, she's a puppy and she still jumps and you know she gets rowdy sometimes, but she is not vicious, I promise you guys. And I think she's probably gonna become very, very protective of Emmy. Uh, now that she recognizes her smell and she even sits next to her and she just watches and that's what bulldogs do and that's just the nature of bulldogs they are protectors by nature so i just don't want any of y'all to think that we're endangering our child we're not and bulldogs are awesome i'm telling them about miss b that she's not a vicious creature that she's a, a sweetheart but she's not terrible and we love her and she's just she's just trying to be a protector is all you can figure out Amy's smell. That's it. About 24 hours ago, we were trying to go do this, and the rain started, and it just now stopped. I feel like I should be building an ark here at this house. This is insane. Maybe that's what I'm meant to do. I have all this wood, tons of wood. Maybe I should just build an ark because, goodness gracious, we got a dang river in the backyard. Let's get this pumpkin quest on the road. She's not a happy pumpkin. She's not a happy pumpkin? She's not a happy Baby girl! Baby girl! She normally calms down when we drive. Hashtag parenthood! Woo, we're trying, y'all. We're trying. Well, yeah, we are trying. And sorry we're closed. Know what that means grocery store pumpkins it is <laughs> okay y'all this is extremely disappointing i wanted amy's first pumpkin picking to be a you know a, a cool cute. patch <laughs> but instead it's going to the grocery store close runner up not the same experience <laughs> but same great prices <laughs> look at that plethora of pumpkins right there so instead we had to go to the thumb the tom thumb are like micro pumpkins. Dagum. 
how is Mozart supposed to work on a daggum legal pad? Mozart. I need a canvas. Yeah, writing his music, I mean. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, let's go pick a pumpkin. Hmm. Well, how's the shopping going? Good. Get away, P. <laughs> Poor little girl. Look at this cute little pumpkin for her. That looks good. So I got Emmy's pumpkin first. All right, load it up. All I right. had to get some uh, some libations. I see. I thought you left me in there. <laughs> no, I, I, I. I thought you were like I've had enough of this pumpkin patch picking. Uh, well, this uh, this helps Dad get through this situation. <laughs> This is our second attempt. <laughs> Dad's gonna get through. Actually, this is our third. Third attempt. Okay, Dad is gonna pick out the pumpkin. I'm going deep. I'm going deep in here. You're going deep in there? Oh, yeah, that's the one. I like this one. That one's mine, that one's yours. And little Emmys. Okay, they all kind of look the same. I was expecting like a little tiny one for her. Look how tiny her head is. She can't even carve that well yet. She's no bigger than my boot. All right, let's load them up. All right, Emmy, your first pumpkin picking. What do you think? <laughs> She's like, cool. She's unamused. One, two, three. Don't forget the pumpkin juice. What do you got? Pumpkins to carve. And pumpkin pie to eat. And a little pumpkin right here. Do we have pumpkin pie to eat, seriously? No, I'm, I'm Dad <laughs> gum, you got me excited. I can make a pumpkin you pie. We have apple pie. We though. do have apple pie. Dad gum. American family, apple pie, babies. And pumpkin. That's how we do it. I have to put y'all down and I have to carry things in because I'm a man. That's what I do. That's my job. I carry loads of things. I gather the sticks. I carry them in. <laughs> I carry the baby. These were good too. <laughs> These be a little bit better than double days. All right. Are you ready for the rules, guys? Are you ready for the rules? Okay. So I bought two of these pumpkin carving kits. So this is the only tools that you're allowed to use. What? These are the only tools you're allowed to use. What? So no unauthorized knives. Are you knives. kidding me? No unauthorized knives. I don't knives. go anywhere without my knives. I don't care. You can hold them. You can look at them. You can wear them, but you, you can't me? use them. I can't. I can't take the top of the pumpkin nope. off with one of these. Nope. Okay. So that's the first rule. Why you have you to do use that these. To an outdoorsman. We each have one hour. So whether you want to use the full hour or not, okay. You have one full hour, timer. so 60 minutes. I don't even need that. Okay. Whatever. Okay. okay, and then the third rule is you're allowed to look at photos and you're allowed to use a Sharpie, but you're not allowed to trace anything. So you can't print anything out and you can't... It's not my style. Okay. All so, right. Good. I, I'm, I'm organic. You ready to hit that timer? Do you even know which pumpkin's yours? No, <laughs> that's mine. Stay away. Stay away from mine. my pumpkin. <laughs> Two. I'm going to steal your pumpkin. Yeah, mine's perfectly right. Do you even See? know what you're going to write? Ready? Mm -hmm. And Go. bam. Time has it's not even on. <laughs> there it goes <laughs> commenced lfg doesn't even know what's about to hit him he thinks he's pretty creative but we'll see who really wins the creative one osg's already gone and adjusted the rules on me you know she knows i have a lot of cutlery in my man cave and she saw me go down there and then she pulled out this what is this some um, you know preschool uh carving things I mean, I had some serious knives ready to go, guys. Everybody thinks that I'm so quiet, but we'll see who really wins. We'll see who's the, the true creative one in the marriage. The reason I'm gonna win is basically because of you. So you're going to leave your comment down below. You can already go ahead and put me. If you don't wanna just watch the rest of the video, I got what I'm gonna do. And there's no way she's gonna beat it. I think I already know what LFG is gonna do. So I'm just gonna blow his design out of the water. Here we go. I don't think I cut my hole big enough. <laughs> I'm just going in with the hands. Just do it. Don't you be knocking my pumpkin off now. <laughs> Give up now. Just so you know. Are 
used to win in art class. <laughs> I don't think there's winning in art I class. I got an A plus. Yeah, in everyone art. wins in Austin. It is going to be up to the Lake Lifers in the comments to let us know who is going to be the winner of this. So. See, I've played mind games with you. You've been cocky this whole time. Normally you're the sweet little innocent flower and I'm the, the cocky one. Now they're gonna be on my side. Not only because of the art, but just because I'm a nicer human. Don't listen to him. Just don't listen to him. <laughs> you're already playing mind tricks with them. You're doing like reverse psychology on them. I'm not, I'm just being real. So it is up to you. So, ha! You can pick her or you can pick me. Whichever. Or you can pick Emmy. So you can just say, all right, Emmy's pumpkin wins. It's literally a plain pumpkin, but it just <laughs> will write her name on it, I guess. This is Emmy's. It's a little bit smaller. We haven't really decided what to do with it yet, but that's that's like voting libertarian. You know, we all know it's <laughs> not like really going to go anywhere, being but Switzerland. you know, yeah. We still have 10 minutes left on the clock. Next year, we got to go 30 minutes, babe. This is way <laughs> too long. So let's take it down, downstairs, dark environment, light these babies up, and you get to decide who gets the dub on the pumpkin carving competition at the tree house. Yes, 2018. Who's gonna take the cake? It is now time to reveal these pumpkins and for you to decide. Take a good long gander. And I want you to know, no matter what, that I still will. love you guys. <laughs> See that compassion? That's just because okay. you know you're gonna lose. Now let's cut off the lights. Let's turn up the volume. Here's the deal. It's up to you guys at this point. Obviously, we're biased because we both love our designs. So you have to let us know in the comments and then on the next video, we'll discuss the winners. If you feel bad about voting for against us. You can still you can, vote for Emmy. You can still vote for Emmy's blank pumpkin. <laughs> and that, that will save you, basically. I had fun in this competition. Let us know in the comments as well if you want to see more competitions like this. Personally, I thrive on competition. I feel like it just gets me going. Mm -hmm. It's an added notch. Mm -hmm. I, I, I tend to just up it a little bit when I'm in competition mode. So let us know in the comments how you guys like this video and happy Halloween, of course. Yes. Let us know in the comments what kind of candy will you, will you guys be serving in your house? I'm more of a Skittles kind of person. I'd say Sour Patch Kids. It's like whenever you get that, I feel like that's Not very good winning the lottery. Because you can eat like four of those and then you can't taste anything for a week. Thank y'all for tuning in for today's competition. And I hope wherever you are, you're having a blessed day. Um, How appropriate with Jesus over here. I, exactly. Exactly, honey. Oh, I'm glad you can appreciate my artwork and I hope you guys will too. So until the next video, we will see you right back here at the treehouse. Makes you want some pumpkin pie. It smells like winning.